Who the way but one? But you guys knew who I am. But whatever, you know, I'm rich from all four, you know, doing reviews, stop motions, knockoffs, and whatever like that. Um, I'm gonna be doing another video vlog. Um, uh, this one's not gonna be like those random stuff that I had the last vlog. If you guys have not seen it, the link is below in the description. Alright, so the video vlog will be about the top five fears that I have in my own Transformer figurines. And I have all those f top five fears listed on this note because there's a lot of things going on in my life that can affect the way I think. <laughs> and also, I got myself a new t-shirt. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Camouflage. Yeah, good. <laughs> okay, so let's get on to it. So, let's start on number five. This one is bar joints. And I have... I figure it'll probably be to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. Bar joints. The more you, you know, do whatever, like poses and stuff like that, the more you mess with it, the looser it will get, and you won't get any more poses out of this thing. So, that's number five. Number four. This one. I can't read my own writing. <laughs> white, uh, white stress marks. Um, like when you are transforming the figures too hard or playing with them too hard or whatever like that. Parts of plastic that is not meant to be bent will bend and it will leave a white stress mark. Which everybody has dealt with in their life collecting figurines. <laughs> Um, number three, this one is, uh, ratchet joints. Um, here I have Bumblebee once again, and, uh, these are the joints right here that they don't really make up a ratchet noise, and there is a very thin plastic right inside there that will just totally just break, it will just break, and, uh, when it breaks, it won't make that sound. Let's try to make that the best recommendation of what I was talking about. Number two, this one is the little thin plastic that can plug into another piece of plastic. Uh, let's see here if I have a figure that will just give you guys an idea. Oh man, I should have grabbed this one earlier. But whatever. Um, yes, it's like these little plastic um, guys right here that will connect into some of the plastic. You know, the arms returning to the roof of the car, and when you kind of like break them off, or not break them up, but I mean loose them to get them loose to transform it. it it'll break in the future. I mean, if it breaks, you have to accept that you know, downside, but, yep, last but not least, folks, number one, this one is the thin metal, like, bars that's covered with very, very thin plastic, uh, I have a figure that would just show what I'm talking about, um, let's see if I can disconnect the wheel from him, this is what I'm talking about, folks, right here. This is what I'm talking about. When you're, like, moving it around for the transformation and stuff like that, you will see white stress marks. And that is part of my, uh, fears on my list. And it, it'll break in the future. I mean, I cannot deny. I mean, if it breaks, it breaks. I mean, I can buy another one, but I won't because that would be just a waste of money. Well, of course, it's a waste of money just be buying figures, but I I don't know what to spend money on it for. I mean, spending money for clothing, blah, 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 real life stuff that you need, but this is stuff that I enjoy. But, yeah, so that is my top fears. I just wanted to get that out to you guys, that uh, I also have fears of 
figures breaking and not working the way they're supposed to and stuff like that. So that's basically it. Hope you guys um, enjoy it, I guess. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. And you guys have a great day.